Most go high level businesses lose 60% of potential clients on their site without even realizing it. This is not because of bad pricing or bad marketing, but it's simply because of the fact that the website is not built for mobile. And that's a problem, of course, because most prospects today check from their phone. Yes, this is a phone case. Today, I'll show you why this happens and how to avoid this so you can start capturing that missing 60%. All right, so I wanted to start by showing you this chart right here. This is percentage of desktop versus mobile site traffic. So you see that over the years, mobile is dominating. And in fact, right now it's 60% of traffic online on all sites. The problem that I see is that I see a lot of GHL sites that have websites on mobile that look like this. And I'm gonna break down exactly what the problems are and how you can fix them. This is kind of like another type of site that if a prospect was to visit from their phone, they wouldn't really resonate. More importantly, they wouldn't convert or take that next step. As I walk you through these actionable steps, I'm gonna be doing this on my GHO AI SaaS template. So if you're interested, you can check it out, link in the description. The first mistake that I see on a lot of mobile sites on GHO is that they don't have a button that clear CTA above the fold. So what I mean is that if we take a look at this site right here, and I'm showing you a screenshot of what this looks like on my phone, you see that this main get started button right here is above the fold, meaning that the user does not have to scroll in order to click and take the next step. In this case, however, you see that this is what the site looks like. I need to scroll quite a bit in order for me to find that first button to call them right here. So if your prospect was to land on this site, we've now made it essentially harder for them to get in touch, which is why there's gonna be such a drop off for mobile conversions. Now, of course you can preview this on your site by sending it over to your phone and seeing what this looks like, but I'm gonna show you a different trick as well. On high level right here, let's say that this was your site. What you can do is of course preview the site like you normally would by selecting this eye icon right here. And then once you have your site right here, what you're gonna do is right click this right here, select inspect and the dev tools will open. At the top right here, you see that there's different dimensions. So if I wanted to see how this website looks like on an iPhone 12 Pro, I could just click this right here and you see how the site changed. You see that even on the smallest iPhone, this button is still above the fold. The second mistake that I see on a lot of GHL sites is that the text, because it's so long, it's kind of like hard to read. And remember, if the prospect cannot read the information, they're not going to take that decision to take the next step, book the call, buy the product and so on. Part of the text is centered while some of the other text is left aligned. When I click at a section or a paragraph, you see that the text alignment properties, I can of course make it so that it's center aligned, left aligned. But more importantly for this video, you see that there's this icon right here. Whenever you see a property with this icon, you see that you can have different adjustments depending if it's for desktop or mobile. And this applies to alignment, the font size, the font weight, and even something very key such as the line height right here. So let's say that you were building a website on GHL and you want to make sure that you have the right properties for desktop. You see that here, this looks a little bit disorganized, which I made in purpose for this video. What I do recommend is if you have a lot of text is making sure that it's easy for prospects to read. And in this case, for this site, what I did when I built it is make sure that I, everything was left aligned right here. And even these dividers right here, it would be easier for prospects to consume as opposed to having something cluttered like this, which is very hard. And I see a lot of GHO websites doing wrong. Now for this next thing, I wanted to show you ClickUp's page right here. At a first glance, I wanted to show you this section. Right, well, two things. First of all, is this graphic right here. You see how on desktop, this graphic is optimized for like horizontally for desktop. But when you take a look at this website on mobile, you see that that same graphic is optimized. So it looks vertical. So you see that even the graphics that they chose to do here are in such a way where it's easier for one screen size versus the other. How you can do this on high level is let's say that in this case, I'm going to go to this section right here for voice AI. I had a graphic that's very long and I wanted to optimize or have different for mobile. What I could do is take that image, duplicate it, and then I have two images. If I wanted to have a different image for mobile, I could just change it right here like I normally would. Trick comes in going to advance and changing the visibility properties. So in this case, if I wanted to do something specifically for desktop, I would just hide it for mobile. And in this case, if I wanted to do the other way around, I would just hide it for desktop in this case. So you see that I have an image for desktop, which is different than the one that I have for mobile right here. Now I only do this if I really 
have to, and this includes also for nav bars, which I'm going to show you in just a sec, because now if in the future I want to make a change, I now have to do double work, change it for mobile and then change it for desktop and things can get confusing, which is why a lot of the GHL stock templates are very hard to edit as well. You see here, however, that when I hover over a specific section that has different visibility properties, I can see exactly where that section only lives. So in this case, it says mobile only. And if I go to desktop, you see that this is a different image and this one has has a different uh, visibility property for desktop only. The second thing that I wanted to show you, and this can also apply for conversions, is that this section is beautiful for desktop. You see that it's very interactive. When I hover over it, the testimonials start playing. Well, if we take a look at ClickUp's website here on mobile, we see that that section was completely gone altogether. This next section right here is uh, this. So in fact, they actually remove quite a lot of sections that maybe just didn't make sense on mobile. So that's something that you can also play around with hiding entire sections that are not relevant on mobile to make sure that if they don't add to the experience on mobile, it's best to just remove them. Sometimes a mistake that I see on a lot of GHL sites on mobile is that they have the main button here at the top, which is going to be hard for users from the thumb to be able to hit that. In this case, ClickUp has huge buttons throughout the site, which makes it so that it's easy for prospects so that even though they can't click this right here, they can just scroll and click this big buttons right here. I'm going to still show you another trick and I'm going to do it live right here. And this is a trick that I've used on previous sites to make sure that conversions are still top of mind. So I'm going to add some custom code and no worries. It's super simple. The first thing is I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. You can add this anywhere, but since we are in a custom code block, I like to have them all at the bottom right here. Now that I've added my custom code block, I like to make sure that I name them based on the effect that I'm adding. In this case, I'm going to do button mobile right here. So you see that this one is button mobile. I'm going to click on open code editor. If you already have my notion doc, I'm going to go to tutorial 2.2 right here. And if you don't have my doc, you can check it out link in the description. But anyways, I'm going to click on this 2.2 right here. And there's even a video that I did explaining a little bit more, but I'm still going to do it again. So what I'm going to do is copy this code right here, go back on high level, paste that code here, hit save. And then what I'm going to do is go back to the notion doc and then scroll down, go ahead and copy this CSS styling code right here go back to high level. And now I'm going to open the custom CSS. So not the code block, but the styling right here. And I'm going to open up some space for myself like you see me doing right here. I'm going to paste this like you see me doing right now. And I'm going to hit save. Essentially, what I've done is added a button and it's going to make it so that it looks good. And it's easy to see like you see right here. More importantly, is that if I was to take a look at this from mobile, you see that when I scroll, this button is still there. But unlike ClickUp's page, which is at the top, which is very hard for a prospect to click with the thumb, is at the bottom, making it so that it's very easy for conversions. Now, if you wanted to change the text and adjust where this button goes, let me show you how you can do this very quickly. We're going to click first on the button block right here. I'm going to click Open Code Editor. If I wanted to change my text instead of Book Now, to contact us, I can do this very quickly. Now that I've changed the text right here, let's say that I wanted to make it so that when somebody clicks this button, they get taken to my booking link. I would just paste that link right here. So where it says your destination URL, I would just paste that right here. You could also paste the link of your image right here. Let me go ahead and delete this hit save. If you wanted to change the color, you can just click custom CSS. And then here where it says background, I would just change this right here. If you wanted to make it so that this button is only present on mobile by that same logic, I'm going to click on this code right here, go to advanced and make it so that it's just visible on mobile by clicking this right here. I'm going to hit save. And if I refresh this right here, you'll see that the button is now gone. But if I take a look at this from mobile, you see that the button is there. Once I click this button right here, you'll see that I now get taken to my direct booking link. So that's another way that you could bake it so that on desktop, you do have your main button here at the top and on mobile, you have this smaller button like here. Now, something else that I wanted to mention is that a mistake that I see in a lot of GHL sites is that they have nav bars that are very big, look very clunky and take a lot of the real estate on the screen of a device. So what I recommend is that on GHL, I'm going to go ahead and edit this again, make sure that on mobile, your nav bar is as small 
small as you can. Don't make it bigger than what it needs to be. It's an overall mess up with conversions, kind of like what you see right here with this nav bar being that big. To finish the video, I wanted to give you a more high level perspective as to how I go about optimizing sites on GHO on mobile. The way that I do this is, let's say that I'm building a website for a client. What I first do before cloning every page or creating a new page is make sure that the one page is optimized. Once that page is fully built out, that's the point where I go ahead and duplicate it so that I keep the same style and I save a lot of the time and effort in building a new page. But at the same time, the mobile optimization is already there. If you want to get this exact website for your GHO AI SaaS agency, you can click the first link in the description. Or if you want to add the cool effects that I'm showing you in all of these videos, you can click the second link in the description and get access to my Notion doc.